this life it has received a final US FDA not for estradiol transdermal system we can explain this to us and what does this mean for the company uh well this is actually important you know because uh, this is a drug which is actually used for menopause and um, you know it is uh, basically a transdermal drug so that means like think of a bandaid you just put it onto your skin and that's exactly how uh, the body absorbs the drug so this is a new form of drug delivery as well it is a painless form of drug delivery as well and this is definitely a type of drug delivery that requires much more in terms of scrutiny from the us drug regulator when they give drug approvals uh, for example injectables drugs used for eyes as well as uh, you know transdermal drugs so for uh, zydus to have received approval for this particular transdermal drug why it, why it not, might not be big in terms of market size it is significant because it's a transdermal approval secondly uh, it is also from the muraya facility remember that the muraya facility had received a warning letter in 2019 it was reinspected by the us fda this year received four observations and is one of the few plants to in fact be cleared by the us drug regulator this year despite having a warning letter so getting the warning letter lifted from that particular plant and that happened because they received an establishment inspection report with a voluntary action indicated status giving the go ahead to zydus life earlier in the month of november so this is one of the approvals which have come through after that has taken place and that gives you validation that yes the muraya plant is now out of the woods and we could expect more complex drugs to get approved from that particular plant such as this particular transdermal drug which is for menopause so important uh, development yeah. for zydus life not much in terms of a movement but nonetheless uh, let's take a short break on the other side we'll be talking to mahesh vyas md and ceo 